Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Kikiri Forest Suicidal. Um, I'm having some pain in my right arm, which is the arm I use for my mouse. Um, I'm thinking it might cause some problems, so I'm not, I'm not sure if we'll be doing long episodes today or not. We'll, uh, we'll see. I want to. I just, I also don't want to, like, you know, develop RSI or anything like that. I, 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 I like to, to treat my, um... My hands and arms and stuff is with the with the respect they deserve. If they're in pain, then I don't I don't push it, you know. KF2 is not really causing much pain though, um, a little bit, but but not much. So we'll we'll see how it goes. I just I don't want I don't want to like develop any kind of permanent injury because of this. I mean, I know it, it probably won't even if I do full episodes, but it's just kind of um, I get really worried about it, you know, because. Uh, a lot of the things I'm passionate about are, are things that, that can cause RSI, like uh, typing, video games, YouTube, like all these things are, 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 are things that I really like, that I like to spend a lot of time on, and they're all things that uh, that can cause injury, so it's it's a, it's a thing I worry about. If I'm, if I'm in pain, if I'm feeling some discomfort, I, I like to kind of take a break, and I, th I think that's true in... I think that should be true for for a lot of things too, right? Like right now, I'm I'm not uploading the uh, the Minecraft videos over on the other channel, and uh, I think I'm just overwhelmed. You know, I'm uh, I I think I'm just overwhelmed with all of the work that I've taken on because it's a lot with the single player and then the multiplayer and having to do the KF2 stuff and like actually start making like it's a lot of work and I think I've just been overwhelmed. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm not gonna let it keep me up at night or whatever. It's fine, you know. We can uh, we can let it just uh, be delayed for you know a week or two, maybe, if if that's what it takes for me to kind of calm down and, and get over the overwhelming emotions of, uh, of stress and stuff. Then that's that's what it takes, you know. It's you gotta you gotta treat yourself well, right? You gotta make sure that you're not um, doing things that that you're not comfortable with, right? Some sometimes you know you have to do things you don't want to just because uh, you know it's, it's how you put food on the table. It's how you afford to have the table in the first place, perhaps even. You, know, you have responsibilities of some sort that uh, that kind of force you to do things that you might not necessarily want to do all the time. But especially with your hobbies, with your personal life, I think it's important to. Um... God, we're just like accurate AF today. I think it's important to, uh, I say as I miss, I think it's important to, to respect yourself and, and take care of yourself, right? Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm thinking we'll do full episodes. I, it, it's uh, it's not that much pain right now. It's manageable. I just, uh, I, won't, I won't do any like gaming later tonight afterwards, I guess. Won't do any typing today. We'll see, though. Next episode is the one I'm really worried about. Just because, uh, after a bit of, uh, like, you know, between the episodes, I take, like, a little break to kind of, uh, just kind of get my mind off of it and, and give myself some some time to develop, uh, some, some new thoughts and, you know, interest in the in the recording. And it's that break that, that kind of scares me in times like these, because, you know, right now I might not necessarily be feeling it, but once I, uh, once I, uh, you know, go and take a break, it, it can get to be a little bit of a problem. For sure. So, it's, uh, it's what I, that's what I'm concerned about, is the break, more than anything. I'm trying to, like, not, you, you might notice, like, I think that's might be why uh, I'm, like, way more accurate today, is because I'm not doing, like, big exaggerated movements, really. I'm, I'm keeping my hands pretty steady and... Not really moving them too much. It's a fairly consistent thing, and uh, I think it's benefiting the the play. A more uh, like sort of intentional kind of thoughts going into it. So I think that I'm a little bit slower, perhaps, but more accurate, maybe. Perhaps I don't know. Perhaps I'm not as well. I am trying not to, uh, to move my hand too much, though, as we play. 
I just don't want to hurt myself, you know? It'd be like I'd be crushed. Right? I'd be I'd be absolutely crushed if I were to uh like injure my uh injure my hand or something like that and then I couldn't type like competitively ever again. <laughs> that would that would just be like crushing for me. I'm um, I'm so so in love with uh, with typing. It would, uh, it would super suck, so. That's why I take good care of it. My hands. You know? Other other parts I might take less care of. Some of them I might even get surgically removed. But my hands in particular, I uh, I want to I want to keep them good. It's one of the things I worry about actually. It's like it's kind of a funny thing to worry about, I guess, but um I like I I worry like I like actually it's it's a thing that I I I think about like at night or whatever like you ever like sit down and and think you know hey what what's like a bad thing that could happen to you like how would you kind of handle that situation um what for me it's definitely like you know injuring my hands and not being able to to type you know like if I like lost a couple of fingers or something like that and I couldn't type again it would just be I I I cry <laughs> I'd cry a lot um cuz I love typing um, so I always, I always get super concerned when, uh, when I experience some kind of pain. It's never anything major, because I recognize it and take care of it. I've never experienced, uh, troubles. Um, but, you know, not experiencing troubles isn't a reason to, to lax on your, on your, uh, responsibilities, you know? Just because you've never had problems with it doesn't mean that you can slack off. It's probably because you haven't been slacking off that you haven't experienced problems. You know? Too many people are like, oh, I never have that. I don't have to worry about it. It's like, well, you probably were worrying about it now that you're not. Because you've decided uh, you're immune to it. Now you're in trouble. You know? I don't know what I'm talking about, dude. I think we are just going to do the one one, eh. one game today, though. I, just, I really don't want to injure myself, dude. I'm, I've been typing today at all either, because it's, it's been like all day that I, I, I've been in pain. I think it's because I was reading last night, and uh, the way I was reading, just like my like muscles and tendons were being like stretched or something in a way that they weren't supposed to or something like that. Like I was lying in bed with my phone. It's a heavy phone too, so it's, it's kind of like unwieldy to, to hold. Um, so I'm thinking, I think I might have hurt myself then. I don't know. I've been uh, been getting obsessed with uh, reading uh, these romances, Korean webtoon romances of like historical stuff with the uh, the emperors and the, the concubines and, and all of that. Because uh, uh, I like it, I uh, I really I really like I think I've talked about it before, but I really love those kinds of relationships where the um, the guy has like some degree of power and she gets to uh, to kind of relish in that to a certain extent um, I'm not into like the the super you know bad there, there there are some bad takes on that genre that not into um, you know if she's a little bit too power hungry and like only after him because of his power not very fun for me uh, and if he's a little bit too, you know, obsessive, we'll say. Also not super into that. But when it's sort of a... I mean, on the surface anyway, don't think about it too much. Uh, a healthy relationship. Don't think about it too much. Um, I, uh, I like it. And uh, that's what these historical sort of like romances kind of get you. It's because it's like, you know, it's like an emperor or a royal prince or something. And, uh, they're meeting their, their partner and having a good time. I read, uh, Beast and the Flowers, I believe. Which is, uh, which is funny, but the, the worst part is that I keep reading these. And then they don't have, like, an original, like, web novel that they're based on. Or at least it isn't translated. So I'm like, alright, <laughs> get to the end, it's not done, I have to cry myself to sleep because I can't read any more of it. I have to wait like a peasant for uh, for more of it. It's terrible. 
absolutely terrible. You shouldn't you shouldn't envy my position. It's torture. Can't believe we're actually gonna do it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today, so thank you for watching. Uh sorry it's a bit shorter. Again, I am in pain. Um and when I am in pain, I uh I take care of myself. It was the same when I was sick and I was working at places. I don't really have to worry about it right now because I don't have to move. Um same when I was but like now that I've rested, like I can actually feel the pain in like my uh, my forearm. Um there's a little bit of tension, I guess. Um when I was like working or whatever and I was sick, I'd call in sick. People would be like, hey, if you're not like sick, nah, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm calling in sick. Like, I, I wish other people would do it too. I, I hate when people come in and sick and they're like proud that they're coming in even though they're sick. And I'm like, no, I've lost respect for you. You know, like I get that you have bills and stuff, but I also have bills. Don't get me sick. <laughs> you know, like, sorry, it happens. Oh my god, Ashwood Asylum, really? So even back then, when I was working, I'd uh, get sick and I'd call in sick. People get mad. All the time. Like, hey, you get sick a lot. I'm like, no, I get sick like as much as any other person, but I'm like, not an idiot. So when I'm sick, I call in sick. You know? If I'm like, you know... Like, I, I feel like there's a certain threshold that people need. When it comes to getting sick and calling in. And it's way above <laughs> contagious, you know? Like, there's contagious, but eh, it's not that bad, you know? It's, you know, it's okay. And then there's, um, you know, contagious, and you're, like, throwing up and, you know, puking everywhere, and it's this, this nasty thing. Um, and I'm like, nah, if you're contagious, don't come to work. I don't care. I'd, I'd rather have more work to do than get sick because you came to work. So, uh, and, and then like, it's just, it's, it's, you're going to get more people sick and you're not going to help yourself. It's just lose, lose. Like, it's just, it's just bad. Um, so I always, I always called in sick when I was sick. I always, I always like to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm selfish like that. I put me first. You can't, uh, even if I wanted to be a, a generous, you know, giving, helpful person i mean you just you can't help people anyway if you're not taking care of yourself anyway so like even if you want to be a generous person who's helping everybody in the world and i don't you have to be selfish it just it just it has to be done you know anyway that's gonna do it so thank you for watching like the video if you liked it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say i should be okay tomorrow it's usually when i have this kind of pain it goes away after a day it happens on occasion. I mean, I do a lot of, like, stuff that would cause it, right? So it's a recurring problem for sure. Nothing I have to worry about, but I can't stress myself when I'm do when I'm experiencing it, you know? Um, so it should be normal episodes tomorrow. I could just sit here and ramble. I'm capable of that. I don't have to move at all. We should just turn this into a normal podcast, you know? Who needs the background stuff? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.